Hey everybody, I just want to give you a tour here of my uh, Hughescraft 270 Pacific Explorer. Uh, I've had it for a couple weeks now. Had been on the water a few times, but I uh, thought I'd give you a walk through some of my first impressions on it here as well. So starting out in the back here, the fish deck, it's absolutely massive. It's uh, huge <laughs> to say the least. It uh, allows me and my friends lots of space when we're fighting the fish, netting, and uh, just a really good fish platform back here. You can see we've got the downriggers mounted at the back on either side. Um, got a little 9.9 kicker here for uh, trolling and that is connected right here. So we've got all our steering controls and throttle control including a beautiful Simrad and an NSS Evo 3S that's mounted right there so we can see everything there. Really good sight lines up to the front of the boat too so you can see other boats that are on the water stay out of everybody's way. The gunnels back here offer a huge amount of storage on either side as well, which is awesome. So you got those on both port and starboard side. Storage back here is amazing as well. It's got back here a little cabinet, some storage on this side, and some of your pumps back here. And then the fish lockers are also what I'm super excited about back here. So we got both sides, port and starboard as well. And they uh, both pump out with a macerator so all your fish guts and everything so all your fish guts and everything get pumped out keep them pretty clean uh it's pretty sweet access to the batteries and other things are through here you got your fuel water pump or filters there sorry you got one battery there one battery is underneath the what here this panel here well it's just four screws that pops off for access battery chargers mounted back here as well pump for your toilet macerator and over here is your pumps for the fish boxes as well so really well laid out really awesome access to it Okay, next, come on inside. We'll give you a walkthrough of the cab here. So starting at the back here, you got a galley, really spacious galley, actually a lot of counter space on it. Nice uh, rack here uh, for paper towel, some of your dishes, whatever else you want to put up in there. The Wallace heater is also a stove uh, that works really well. Used it a few times already. We got a little Dome Tech fridge here. Uh, so yeah, for food, drinks, whatever you want to keep cold through there. Little freezer on the top as well. These cabinets are super deep, which is pretty sweet. Super deep cabinets. So we'll be able to store lots of things in there. So there's three of those plus the vertical one. And then over on the port side here, we have the washroom or the head. So electric pump toilet, lots of space in there. Some rack hooks as well for hanging, drying things out. Nice windows as well. So when nobody's in there, you can see through. Got the table here that folds down into a bed as well and uh very handy as well so kids will be sleeping there storage on this boat's incredible so we got more cabinets on either side of the table also right underneath here is all cat some cabinets here and then down in here it's huge so you got lots of storage tons of storage all through here so like no shortage of storage in this boat okay so up here at the helm again really well laid out nice air ride seat from the few rides I've been on it already, it really cushions the ride well. And then you got a really big 12 inch Simrad, the NSS Evo 3S again. Really, uh, really awesome. The NSS Evo 3S, it's a really awesome chart plotter. Really easy to use, I'm really enjoying that. Your throttle control over here, trim tabs, your Yamaha controls, Fusion stereo, which is actually very impressed with the sound quality of that as well. And then up front here, a little glove box, you can store whatever goods you need in there. Cup holders are spread throughout the boat as well. Definitely no shortage of those. Uh, very well thought of uh, in that sense. And then the cuddy here, pretty spacious as well. So you got room, two people sleeping here. These cushions slip down here into the middle. 
Underneath the front there, there's also more storage and you have little cabinets underneath on both sides here as well. So the power on this boat is uh, two 200 Yamahas, four strokes. And so far, been really impressed with the performance of those, cruising between 24, 25, sometimes 26 knots and uh, getting about 14, 15 gallons an hour. So for a boat this size, I'm really happy with that. A Yamaha 99 four stroke uh, kicker, it's worked really well for trolling, push the boat exactly for the speeds I need. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a well-built platform. So far, really enjoying the boat. It's proven to be awesome for fishing already. A few times going out with it uh, in a couple days. Taking the family, we're going to be boating from Prince Rupert down to Vancouver Island, Desolation Sound as well, on the Inside Passage. So really looking forward to that trip, putting it through its paces. It'll be a nice long trip. With a good thing with this boat as well, 720 liter fuel tank with a twin 200s. It'll give us quite the range, which will be nice. Uh, so we're not having to worry about fuel as much and there's enough fuel stops along the way for us. So hope you like this tour. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'd be happy to answer as best I can. So now that I've taken you for a walkthrough through the boat, kind of showing its highlights, let's put it out on the water and I'll have some video here showing you how it looks on the water and uh, how smoothly she goes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed.